Christiani, and today in Homemade Science, we're going to go back and revisit a popular demonstration, and that's the skewering of plastic bags with uh, dowels and so forth. But we're also going to do it with balloons that are filled with water, and then I'm going to show you a trick of how you get the balloons to reseal themselves. Now this demonstration is fairly easy. We fill a bag with water, and then the object is simply to take some dowels, we stick them in a little bit of oil or dish soap, and we gently push them into the bag. Goes through one side, and then through the other, and it doesn't leak. And we can do it with dowels, you can do it with colored pencils. Now let's try with a drinking straw. I'll start by cutting the one edge and giving it a sharp point. There we go. Now I'm going to hold my thumb over the one end to seal it. I'm just going to push it straight into the bag. And if I only push it halfway, it starts to drain. See if I can stop it and then push all the way through. The straws are a little bit more challenging, but I think they're a little bit more interesting than the pencils. Now we can even go larger. You could even do this in large trash bags. Another popular demonstration has been using skewers and sticking them through balloons. A little bit of soap on it. You want to push it through at the bottom, turning it as you're pushing, and you can get it through without too much trouble. And to get it through the other end, you want to push it right through about where it's tied. The material's a little bit thicker there, so it's a little bit more stable. There we go. These materials are polymers. They're made of long chains of molecules that are able to stretch and get pushed aside as that dowel goes through them. But if we try and stretch them too much, of course they will break. If you're careful, you can actually push two or three skewers through the same balloon. So now here's the problem when we do this experiment. Once we skewer that balloon, it's got two holes in it and it's simply going to deflate. So the question is, is there some way that we can delay that action? The answer lies with a breakfast cereal, oatmeal. In this case I have whole grains and here I've chopped it up into a finer powder. In this case I mixed about a tablespoon of oatmeal into water. There it is. And I'm simply going to pour some of that slurry into the bottom of the balloon. Added some air, now I'll tie it. Now I've already poked two holes in the bottom of this, and here I'm going to add a third one. There it is, into the balloon. Now I'll pull the skewer out. And I'll turn the balloon so that that mixture sits on top of where the holes are. Now we'll just time this and see what happens. This balloon has been sitting for 26 minutes and it hasn't deflated at all. In fact, after sitting for a couple days, it still seems to be the same size. Now I want to try this again. This time I'm going to use this dry oatmeal. We'll use a funnel to put a little bit of it into the balloon. There we go. I'll blow it up. And you can see the dry powder inside here. Now let me take the skewer and put a small hole in the bottom of it. Now there's the hole. I'll turn it over and see if I can get that dry oatmeal to clog up the hole. It's right there, and I can still feel a little bit of air coming out of that hole, but we'll let it sit for a while and see what happens. Well, it's been about three minutes, and it looks like the balloon is fully deflated. 
So what is it about the wet oatmeal that makes a difference? Well, when we mix some of the oatmeal with water, the soluble fiber will actually dissolve while the insoluble fiber will remain intact. We'll stir it around for a little bit and let it sit. We check back on it in a few minutes and it feels very sticky. That's the soluble fiber that's turned into a gel. The remaining fibers help bind it together. In addition to foods, another example we might see commercially would be this tire sealant. This also feels very sticky and is said to have a lot of fibers in it. Your body has its own version of a sealant. If you get a cut, you start to bleed. When this happens, platelets are activated and start the clotting process. They combine with blood proteins and form a fiber net that seals the wound. The hardened scab is formed as the body makes repairs. Now let's get back to our balloons. Now that we've done it with balloons with air in it, now I think we're ready for a bigger challenge. In this case, water balloons. These seem to break a lot easier than the balloons filled with air. Good, slower. Hey, Leave there we go. A little bit. It's water tight. <laughs> yeah, it works. Wait! <laughs> My turn. Okay, pull it out. And squirt me! <laughs> no. Get to the right a little more. <laughs> Here's a water balloon with a skewer through it. Let's try that again. See if we can get two in here. Now, once again, when we skewer a bag or a balloon and we want to pull the stick out, well, then we're going to see a little stream of water. Now, let's see if we can seal it so it doesn't leak. Now, I can take some of that oatmeal and mix it with a little bit of water and add that slurry to the balloon itself. It gets kind of sloppy. Or I can just simply use a funnel and put a funnel into the balloon and add probably about a tablespoon of this. Uh, Now let's go fill this balloon up and see what happens. Alright, it's in there now. Pull it out. There's my stream of water. and it stopped leaking. Let's try that again. Ah, a little bit of leak coming out from the other hole. <laughs> well, let's pull this one out. Now they've both stopped. Let's go all the way through. Let's put another hole in there. That hole was fairly large. We can actually see a little bit of the oatmeal coming through the where the hole was, but it has sealed it. Look at that. Up, oh, start up again, and it stops. So there's our self-sealing balloon. If I squeeze, maybe it'll start it. Well, for the moment, it stopped leaking. Oh, nope, there it goes. <laughs> well, I think it stopped. Now, if you'd like to try the same experiment without the inherent danger of getting soaked by a water balloon, you could try something a little bit safer, something like a 
plastic jug or a juice bottle, and we can see the same results without the fear of it breaking. I'm adding about one or two tablespoons of the ground up oatmeal to this milk bottle. That should be enough. Now I'll fill it up with water. Put the lid on it and shake it a little bit. Next, take the cap off and get a pin and start poking the bottle and see what happens. There's a hole and it stops. Well, I'm really impressed that these pieces aren't leaking. I think this would be a good investigation to try and find other materials that would behave the same way. You could look for other types of grains. Something with a lot of fiber would probably work. Well, anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.